BD5 pilot with you on a Thursday out at the Hillsboro hangar, and uh, you might be able to see behind me. Yeah, I had to uh, unattach the wings again because uh, I've got some shorts in the uh, way I did the wiring there, the way I tried to use a shielded cable, and uh, something something happened in the process of uh, getting that shielding part up, but uh, I've got that ready to work on, and I've fixed the network error that I was having and have the transponder uh, loading its new software right now. So I believe just about everything works now. And when I get the wiring replaced in the wings this weekend, I'll, uh, I'll get it all uh, put back together and, uh, and we'll have a functional electrical system in the airplane. You'll remember I, uh, I even mentioned when I was working on the uh, autopilot that one of those uh, connections kind of had me bothered. And sure enough, that was the one that was uh, shorting out uh, to one of the lines, I think the low line on the uh, CAN bus and uh, I replaced the way I had the connection uh, on that. So I removed the uh, part that it shorted and uh, did a new connection. And now everything looks like it's working. The transponder's in the process. You'll see there, there's a software update in progress. Do not remove power. That is because that transponder is still communicating, getting the uh, New information. Well, that's the comm that we're seeing there. There's a light somewhere on the uh, on the other one, but comm's blinking. That means the network's working. Might be able to see in there the uh, lights blinking on the GPS 20. That means it's working. But I can't shut my power down until I get this uh, uh, software completely loaded, and I, it has to deal with the transponder. And let's jump back to. This, this is the field, this is the screen that the vertical power gives me. So my battery's down to 13.2 volts, and we're drawing, looks like we're drawing two and a half amps total. This will go through and tell me all of my functions. Now, if I have a switch on, if I turn my beacon on, let's see, I think it's that one, that'll light up, that'll tell me it's working. And of course, we can see the lights flashing from it. And we can scroll down a little further. There's my GTR20, that's working. The transponder's working. The Garmin G5, you can see it's working. And then this unit obviously is working. My engine monitor, the magnetometer, all of those say they're good. If we want to turn on the landing light now, let's see, that's there. Landing light works. And go down a little further, nav lights. Turn those on, and they work. They only draw half an amp. The recognition is a hot circuit, so what I had to do is hit the button that turns the recognitions on, and now they're drawing. Now, see, they draw 5.7 amps, too. That's the biggest amperage that they draw, but those are these huge, bright lights. So I come into a high-traffic area that I'm a little worried about not being seen. Those are going to be the ones that I kick on. Smoke system's not hooked up. Starter. Strobes work. This we just flip that switch the other way. And then notice that the strobes, they sync with the uh, belly beacon. It's just a nice synchronized flash that we get from there. Go through here. You want to turn on my, my taxi lights now work. There's the taxi lights on. Notice I'm not running them through the wing, but now I can hit the wigwag function. And when the wigwags kick in, you might be able to see. Not too well, but there are, they're flashing side to side. Strobes are kind of interfering with seeing that. But uh, yeah, I'll be. All that work worked out. I did it right. And the heater has its power, although we don't, we don't have the heater hooked up. But as I say, I'm sitting here waiting on that transponder to finish its update. Do not remove power. So I'm keeping it on power until it tells me that's all good. And I'm not sure how long that'll take. Well, that's going to be a good place to finish off for uh, Thursday. Be out here on the weekend and uh, hopefully have the wings back on and, uh, 
be able to show you everything working and uh, let's hope that that software downloads. BD5 Pilot's out for now. Everyone have a great week.